and be her her cursor, and that's a great big word. I hate them, you can't attention, now I pray, till I tell you the particulars that lately have occurred in the town of Castle Bar the other day. I had saved up all my money by industry, boys, I say. While toiling in a foreign land afar, I brought it back to Ireland and by investments made. I bought the Grand Hotel in Castle Bar. When I got it fixed and painted and my name put on the sign, and the furniture all settled neat and tight. I gave a big house warming as they did in olden times. My friends and neighbours all I did invite. With Miss Casey and Miss Hooligan, McMurphy, Dan McKeown, and the national school teacher Jerry Carr with fun and element what a pleasant time we spent in the Grand Hotel that night at Castle Bar we had supper something splendid we had roast boil and stew and quite natural some whiskey in the jar. We feasted there like princes, while the corks they were unscrewed in the Grand Hotel that night in Castle Bar. I hired a van from Dublin with the strict injunctions given that the best and latest music they should bring. Miss King played the piano, and I thought I was in heaven. I'd give my oath I heard and lives will sing. With Miss Casey and Miss Willigan, make more feed than make your and the national school teacher Jerry Carr with fun and element what a pleasant time we spent in the Grand Hotel that night in Castle Bar we dance polkas, we dance waltzes, we dance jigs and reels as well with an nested day of glee and wild delight. When suddenly Miss Wooligan, she gave an awful yell, and she says, young man, you squeeze me rather tight. <laughs> then Daly went to Lynch and said, you did the girl pinch. But I'll teach you better manners where you are. It was with the starry dazzler that poor Lynch came to the floor. And that began the row in Castle Bar. With Miss Casey and Miss Fulligan, Mike Murphy, Dan McKeown. And the national school teacher Jerry Carr Red fun and man What a pleasant time we spent In the Grand Hotel that night in Castle Bar They broke up all the furniture To make weapons for the fight While the women all the screeching let it run to smash each other's countenance it was their whole delight 
was a regular stand of battle man to man. They never seemed to tire till they set the house on fire. They fought their way from drawing room to bar. In the shortest space of time, sure this grand hotel of mine went in blazes in the town of Castlebar. <laughs>